Okay, you guys, I officially finally finished gathering up all of my son's homeschool pre-K curriculum. It has been a task and a half. Let me tell you, it can be so hard to navigate and figure out where to start, where to begin, and where to find courses of what are best suited to what your belief system are and what is going to help your child grow to be the best they can be. So what I have done is I got two binders, um heavy duty i got a four inch and a three inch and this one is the curriculum and this one is all the resources and this is just for me um this isn't really anything my son will be touching or doing or anything like that so let me explain Okay, so this is all of the curriculum and what we ended up going with is playing preschool and this is the website. And so I basically, I did year one and I did year two because I liked the variables of each components that were in the courses and I'll kind of be mixing them up and putting them together into one year. So here you can see this is the first year and this is the second year of playing preschool and this is the entire curriculum here. So I found these off of Amazon and they're scrapbook containers and this came in like a case of like 10, 10 or 20 and they fit perfectly inside of this caddy that I got from Walmart and I'll be linking all of this in the description below but it fits perfectly inside of the caddy and what I was thinking about doing is basically I'll be taking all of my lesson plans for each week and I'll be putting them in here so I don't ever have to worry about gathering up anything. So these are extra materials of stuff that will be going with the lesson plans and they'll all be going in here. So every week, I don't have to worry about it. I just have it all together here. And these are my extra resources. So originally we were going to go with Let Them Be Little Preschool, which is, we have that in here. Okay, so this is Let Them Be Little Preschool, and it has a lot of great components, but I really wanted to add in more nutrient-rich information. My son is a great learner, and we have done hands-on learning and play with him since he was born. So he is really wanting to um, exceed developmentally, but he's not yet ready for kindergarten. So a lot of this is kindergarten readiness stuff. So these are extra resources that I can add in to my lesson plans to go with the playing preschool curriculum. It can be very overwhelming for me in particular to constantly be looking stuff up on Pinterest. I gather all these ideas, I never end up doing them. So this was my solution to that. I have a lot of other things in here as well. And guys, there's a lot of free resources on Google. The only thing that I paid for was the playing preschool. I had another mom friend that I was lucky enough to meet and she gave me the download for her Let Them Be Little Preschool. So I did not have to pay for this. This was a $150 price tag curriculum. So I understand, you know, this can be tough for some people, but investing in your kids' education, you guys, I mean, it's just uh, priceless. So what else is in my resource binder? So in this half, we have all of the extra stuff that goes with the playing preschool curriculum. That is not the actual curriculum. Resources, things that you might need to know about it, you know, stuff for you as a teacher. And I really wanted to keep that split up. So this is that section here. And then we have our attendance sheet. It's very important to keep attendance of how much every day, what days you are doing school with your child. Um, you're going to need it down the line when you're doing things like setting up your homeschool with the state. For me personally, I am doing state regulated stuff as well as things that I would like to bring in it as well. So in the back of the binder, so you can find this information on Google for whatever state you're living in. This is for my state and you can look up the kindergarten readiness guide, everything that they need to know and learn in order to be ready to move on to kindergarten. I also have back here, notice of intent to establish a homeschool. This is the form that you fill out to send off to your state that you are in, in order to officially be a homeschool. Guys, this is amazing information to have. If you want to be official, if you want to do this the right way, have all of your ducks in a row, it's very important to do these things. 
In my state, I cannot technically register to be a homeschool until my kid is seven, but there's other things that you can do before then to be able to get your teacher ID and stuff like that. I'll go into that in another video. But for now, I have this form in the back of the book for whenever I'm ready to do that. And this is all of the information that you need in order to file that intent to operate a homeschool for when I need it later. And again, this is my state's requirements for what your child needs to know in order to move on to kindergarten. This is just resources that I can look back on. It's, you know, health and physical development as well as, you know, educational. This is another free resource that you can find. I love this website. I'll be doing more courses from them. The Homeschool Art History Starter Kit. I'll be linking that website right here. And this is just everything that you need to know to start teaching your child art history and creating that a part of your curriculum and your subjects in your homeschool. So here I have alphabet pages. This goes with the plain preschool curriculum. Um, it's all of the alphabet letters and you'll be, I'll be doing that part of the curriculum and this will be going in the weekly binders for me to have later. I like to have everything printed out and ready. I don't want to have to do it later. I'm trying to save myself the headache and do it now. This is another extracurricular course that I found, the Three Sunflowers. It's a great little spring course. It teaches them a lot about um, seeds and baking and painting, nature journaling, STEM activities, sacred geometry. I mean, it's really great, you guys. So I'll be adding this in as the seasons change. And these are just extra supply lists and stuff like that. And then with the attendance sheet in the beginning of the binder, I also added just a very brief daily plan outline. And this is just what we're gonna do basically on our day to day. This is just an outline, it's just an idea. Things change, life comes up, it's good to be flexible. But this is just basically what we do day in and day out. You know, wake up, brush your teeth, morning circle, snack time, breakfast, all those things. You just put it boom, 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 boom. So this is, you know, what you have to go off of with the attendance sheet in the very beginning of the resources binder. So these are the two things that I will be pulling from all of the time to put my weekly curriculum in here so I can teach my little one preschool. Thank you guys so much for watching. It is not easy being a homeschool parent. I hope some of these things helped you out. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below and make sure you subscribe to my channel because I'll be sharing lots more tips and tricks and sharing just my homeschool journey with all of you. My next video will be my homeschool haul for all of the homeschool supplies we got to start preschool. And I'm so excited to start this journey and share it with you guys.